Denim, a textile material when transformed into a pair of jeans, consumes around 2900 liters of water and large amounts of chemical and energy. Unfortunately, a lot of this goes to waste. The cutting waste during denim clothing production is between 10% and 15%. A single pair of denim jeans produces 33 kilograms of carbon dioxide. So the best way to effectively utilize this waste is by reducing and recycling the denim scraps. Denim is a material which is a fashion statement among the school and college students which is our primary target audience. Six billion jeans are produced a year and 30% of those never even get home. However, the waste problem in denim isn't simply due to unsold goods. The water and energy used in the production of a pair of the jeans, as well as the raw materials and manufacturing processes all contribute to waste. Thus, buying a new pair of jeans is equivalent of turning on your shower and letting the water pour down the drain for 21 hours. This is because cotton, the fabric used to produce denim, requires a lot of water. To make a pair of jeans, 10,000 litres of water is required. The Aral Sea, once the world's fourth biggest inland lake, had nearly dried up owing in part to intense cotton production in Central Asia for export to the European Union. Approximately 2 billion pairs of jeans are purchased each year, which is staggering. Further, denim doesn't just use a lot of water, it is a damaging pollutant as well. This is largely due to the fact that denim is produced in countries where coal is the primary source of electricity, such as India and China. The blue hue of denim is primarily achieved by using a synthetic indigo dye that contains dangerous compounds like cyanate, which is used as a poison and companies dump these chemicals into rivers to avoid paying for wastewater treatment. Project Neve was created with the sole purpose of putting an end to textile wastage. Denim scraps are first acquired from jeans manufacturer, then given to the NGO beneficiaries. We also use buttons, linen and zippers which are sourced from sustainable markets. It all started with a worn out shirt. A member of our team had his only pair of formals torn just a day before his crucial presentation. He did not know any tailor because he wasn't a local resident. His mother suggested that he borrow his friend's suit, but it would mean he'd have to wear a loose fit. His hostess domestic assistant had been watching his distress and volunteered to help him mend his clothes. The lovely lady restored them perfectly. He offered to pay her as well, but she refused instantly. We talked about this business model for me and how we could work with an NGO to employ underprivileged women by training them to make and sell products made from waste cloth. It was the ideal solution for Project Neve. Soon after, we launched Neve with the domestic staff from the hostel as our first beneficiary. She is currently working as a full-time employee with Neve and earns a steady salary to support her family. Our product included various items made from denim like laptop bags and sleeves, earrings, notebook covers, etc. which are mainly aimed at targeting the students at colleges and the young working population that were determined to contribute to the sustainable usage of wasted and rejected textiles. When a product is manufactured, the first question that comes to our mind is to whom will the product be sold? Project Neve targeted the school and college students and the young working class for whom some of our products would be daily essentials. Our product from Project Neve were even sold as a part of Jashnu, which was a part of string of events that we conducted this year. Further, we plan to create a separate Instagram page for this project which will help create a proper target base while specifically promoting our products under the project using digital marketing techniques. And with the help of our website, we aim to further expand our reach and recognition. Project Neve incorporated the following SDGs, gender equality aims at empowering women, reduced inequalities by providing employment opportunities, climate action by recycling denim. We set up a skill training center where underprivileged women developed and polished their stitching skills. Our project helped these women to be financially independent. These women would also be able to support their families 
where earlier only the men in the house earned the bread. This project provided them with the dignity and self-esteem they truly deserve. Thus, our project helped uplift and empower families as a whole, both financially and morally.